starting to see. Um, and, and Neil has even some stories about Indiana. I know he's played against Indiana in the past, and, and uh, there's going to be some, uh, some interesting stories there, too. So he's a great guy, and, and we're really happy to have him there. We're trying to make some efforts to maybe bring the girls' softball team and the high school baseball team over there as well to, uh, to yeah, be yeah. recognized and to, to meet him. And So, um, you know, we're, we're trying to see if we can get a couple of people to help sponsor those kids to go over there and – uh, I'm sure they'll love the mashed potato bar, but uh, you know, uh, but we we think it's going to be a great event. So tickets are now on sale. Uh, I would caution everybody. You know, it it uh, over at the Country Club, we do have limited seating, so um, you know it will fill up likely with this uh, with this event, especially with some of the things we're looking to do. So if you're interested, please get your tickets soon. Don't wait until the last minute. Yeah, here's where do you hear this? This is this is going to be my my way to turn this toward a Chamber of Commerce perspective. Okay. Neil Walker was a great high school football player who was already signed up to play major college yeah. football. He was drafted as a catcher by the Pirates. He switched to second or to third base in the minors. Then he went over to second base. So the idea is that uh, somebody who has that much utility about him is someone who can adapt to changing situations. <laughs> we have a power plant in Homer City. <laughs> You see I the connection it. that I'm I do, making. Here. I do love that, and and <laughs> yeah, and and being a, a, able to adapt to to changing situations and and maybe create a situation better than the previous one that you were you were in. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll run that by him. I'll see what we yeah, can do. Sure he'll, he'll, he's <laughs> he's going to say, yeah, he's, that's what I want to uh, talk yeah, about. I don't know how well versed he is on energy, but we'll see. Uh, well, he'll, <laughs> maybe we'll maybe he'll, maybe, maybe he'll, study up in the next month. He might be a little more comfortable talking about mashed potatoes. <laughs> Yeah, never know. We'll see. But yeah, if, if you want tickets for it, uh, you can get on our website. We apologize. Our website was is getting revamped. It's a brand new website that's going to be launched, uh, I believe, today. Um, it's indianacountychamber.com. Oh, yeah. um, but if you want tickets, uh, invitations went out last week, and that registration link has been open. Um, and you can always get on our Facebook page as well, and you can be able to find the link there. But if not, you know, be patient. Get on the website here today or tomorrow, and you can register for the event. That's a pretty big deal, the website uh, relaunch. Yeah, we, we actually have, have switched uh, to a brand new platform for us, which kind of integrates a lot of the things that we use. I'm not going to get into a lot of that because most people uh, aren't interested. But yeah, it, we're trying to kind of rebrand a lot of different things with the Chamber, uh, simplify things for our membership more than anything else, and kind of create a better, uh, when people need to register for events or see what's going on. Uh, or a lot of people who who go to our website just to kind of look for different businesses. If they're looking for a contractor, or looking for uh, you know somebody to hire for various things, we can guide them to that and make it a little bit more user friendly. So we're anxious for that to to come up, and and we're really looking forward to this next year in terms of us being able to kick off uh, kind of a new partnership with with a new building, uh, you know, with some things that we've already done with downtown Indiana and, and some big things coming in the next year. Well, this year, um, as, as always, when you get to the month of December, the energy for the Chamber of Commerce is always on the annual meeting. Yeah. Uh, and, and that is the case again this year. But uh, you've got a lot of other things going. You just mentioned the website. You just mentioned the new building as mm -hmm. well uh, and the new exciting partnerships that you're able to form. Uh, it, it really has been a, a momentous year for the chamber of commerce and the changes keep coming. Yeah. I, you know, I think that, uh, you know, we, um, we're looking forward to some of the things that we have coming on. And really we think that everything that we're doing, it fits into what Indiana County is doing. I think you're starting to see some significant strides in, in terms of, you know, where we may be headed. I mean, the, the, the change, uh, increasing leadership with Jim Struzzi and, and, and Representative Struzzi, what he was uh, just appointed to in terms of the appropriations chair. And, and I think that that uh, it just significant, it, it's a significant uh, role for him now, and it really puts Indiana County on the map in terms of state leadership. And I think that's also going to help us in the business community in terms of some things that we, we, we think we're going to be seeing here. We already talked about the power plant and you know, we're wait anxiously awaiting, like everybody else, that announcement. But everything we're hearing is 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 really exciting, and I think that given some of these announcements and some things that we we've already heard, um, you know, even even from like the retail or, or, or restaurant side, you know, you're seeing that ground being broken for raising Canes, Texas Roadhouse. There's lines out the door, and, and you know, driving up, uh, you know, Philly Street. Friday night, uh, there were lines waiting to get into all the local restaurants. I think that business is picking up, and I think that you know, we're starting to see a, a change here. And 
um, you know, just looking ahead to some things that we have coming up with the College of Osteopathic Medicine and IRMC with their Behavioral Health Institute and or, or facility over there. There's some significant things in Indiana County that a lot of counties would would love to have, and I think that it's only going to get better for us here. And it, it, there's a lot to be excited about. I tend, when we visit, I tend to so- talk about uh, the need to not focus on retail, but to focus on industrial manufacturing, yeah. those sorts of things. And those are really big. But retail sort of is a sign of what's happening in the other sectors, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think that there's a couple things with that. It's, it's chicken and the egg to a degree. I mean, I think you need some of those retail to bring in people um, because it makes the area more attractive, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But I think also the, that starts coming in when they start seeing some of the, the, like you said, the manufacturers, the jobs that are here. And, you know, when you see some of the studies that show Indiana County as being one of the few counties expected to grow in population in the next five to ten years, um, I think that's part of it. But in talking with a lot of business owners and, and, and some, some bigger companies that, that hire a lot of people, and they're saying that they're seeing a lot more um, job applications coming from outside of the county for people who want to work in Indiana County right now. And, and, and some of it's because of all the activity that we have. So uh, it's a little bit of the chicken and the egg, but I do think we're starting to see more interest from out of the county in terms of people looking to come here. And, and we hope that we can create opportunities for them to want to not just work here, but stay here and live here. And, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, that can help to uh, help our population, but also create some new young, younger families that, uh, that come here and make this their home. And that will certainly boost our economic uh, activity here in the county. A couple of other things before we close our visit today. Number one, of course, uh, the new building. We yeah. mentioned it in passing, but uh, that's coming up very soon. You're going to be working more and more on, on getting that up and running uh, the way that you wish for it to. Uh, and the other thing is, so when you get to this time of the year, it is a big thing for retail in Indiana County. We've got new businesses opening up. You have uh, had some business after hours activities, uh, and uh, and um, I would assume that there are more of those sorts of things coming. Yeah, we, we actually have a business after hours tomorrow at the Indiana Eagles with Family Promise. They're holding their monopoly night over there. And uh, we are going to partner with them and and hold an after hours. So uh, we hope that people are able to come over there. You don't have to sign up to to participate in the Monopoly night if you don't want to put a a team together for that, although it's a lot of fun. Um, But come over and visit and eat some food. And and there's some other games and things going on. So it's going to be a fun afternoon over at the Indiana Eagles. And, uh, you know, we that's our next after hours. We've had a lot of after hours this year. Um, but yeah, we, we, we would encourage people, this will be my, my last opportunity before um, Thanksgiving to uh, in, encourage everybody to get out there and shop local and take part in Small Business Saturday. That's one of my favorite days of the year to walk down the street and, and, and shop throughout all the downtown businesses and um, Indiana County Shop Local is our Facebook page as well. But we would encourage you to get out and shop local this holiday season and Small Business Saturday is a great opportunity to do it. So um, you know, take part and support your local businesses and just, uh, you know, be thankful for the things that we have going on as, as we approach Thanksgiving too. I think Indiana County is a special place and uh, we see so much collaboration and teamwork. And I think that's going to be, bring, uh, some big dividends for the county here coming up. So we're really excited about it. Absolutely. Mark, thanks so much. Hey, thanks, Todd. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. And again, Mark, for folks that want to get tickets uh, for... Yeah, uh, indianacountychamber.com. Call our office at 465-2511 or visit us on Facebook, and you can get tickets December 11th at the Country Club. Very good. Thanks. Or December 10th, excuse me, at the Country Club. It's in the end of the morning. It's <laughs> WCCS. Oof.